Hi people, how are you going? So tonight, um, I just want to have a bit of a chat about a couple of things, but one thing that's really got me riled for people in Victoria, this will be a warning to you guys, um, because uh, we have some information about the Darren Hinch Justice Party. So back in 2017, when Darren Hinch was sitting in the Senate, he voted for the cashless debit card. This is a man that his claim to fame back in the day was tracking down, um, and I'll, I'm gonna put a trigger warning on this, okay? Tracking down people who sexually assaulted children. Now I can remember on TV thinking he was a hero. But as an adult survivor, all right, and watching him go through the Senate process, no matter what we said to him, no matter what we told him at the time, he wouldn't budge, all right? And as far as he's concerned, his attitude is the, still the same today because he came out and said it on Twitter today that because three Aboriginal ladies went to Canberra and told him they wanted it, we all going to get it, you know what I mean? Because he still supports it. Not good enough, Darren. So I'm warning the people of Victoria when you see Darren Hinch Justice Party on your Senate ballot paper, pff, scrap it because he's. I'm very angry with him as a survivor of a, a horrific sexual abuse um, that he still cannot understand that as an adult um, there's things that are very triggering about the fact that he would support a policy that would re-abuse me. And people like me, survivors like me, and abuse women, primarily. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of guys on the card too, but with the combination of Anne Rustin saying, oh, we don't put women that are fleeing domestic violence on the card. Yep, they have been doing so for the last six years. All right, and then you've got somebody like Darren Hinch popping his head up out of the blue, saying he would still support the cashless debit card if he gets in again. Um, in other words, he's just letting the Liberals know that they've got his vote, basically, you know, and stuff the justice for people like me. Where's my justice, Darren? All right? My perpetrator got 18 months. I got a life sentence. All right? You know, so, and I, and I want to tell you guys what happened, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's how can I say it? It's probably more triggering for more people if I do, so maybe it's not safe to. But the loss of control at the hands of a perpetrator stays with you for life. The thought of being forced onto a cashless debit card. And having to pick up the phone to some 20-year-old something circo worker who's got control of my life. Again. Right? I'm sick to death of these men that think they can just write legislation that controls women's lives primarily. Now, I'm not forgetting the guys that are on the card, please don't get me wrong. But the majority of people, right, um, that are on the card are women. And they are abuse survivors of all sorts. They are sole parents. They are carers. They are women on disability support. All right? And, yeah, it just, it is so hypocritical of him. You know, because it was the man, his catch cry was shame, shame, shame. But there's no justice for us. Is there? There's no justice, is there, Darren, for the survivors? You know? In one way, I outlive the bastard. That's the only justice I've got, right? That's the only consolation I've got, is that I know that I outlive the bastard that got me. But that's not enough, in my opinion. The damage was done but to support a program that takes away the person's soul is soul destroying 
is is abuse. Uh, you know, I feel like saying, "What are you, another narcissistic control freak?" Because that's exactly what it comes across as. You know, he's got offended at a couple of comments that have been thrown at him this afternoon on Twitter. Too bad, so sad, Darren. You know, it's nice and triggering to know that all of us out here, right, that have got our own issues to deal with are for sale in your eyes and you're going to keep supporting a private company and the corporations and the Liberal Party. All right? It's just disgusting. Emma Jane, a woman in your Centrelink mum support group was being put on the cash on the card, hasn't moved to a new area or anything. It's just disgusting. Can you send me more details about that, please, Emma Jane? Um, what region are you in? Yeah, private companies have more rights than women in the LNP eyes. Absolutely. Dollars above people any day of the week. That's all it is. Dollars, dollars, dollars. All right. And damn the the damage it does they don't care yeah i think i've had a gut full of the what, what would you call it the misogyny today because i'm watching um that woman grace getting absolutely pummeled by the right-wing media oh and pauline's chipped in her two cents worth as well right having a go because you know she was supposed to smile for the prime minister Seriously? Seriously? Why? Oh, smile, dear. Don't look like a misery. Do this, do that. Put a face on, put makeup on, be nice, be sexy, be this, be that. Be everything they ever they all want. But don't be honest. No. She was honest. She was honest in that photograph and good on her. You know what I mean? You know, having to shake his hand and then they're trying to encourage you to smile. Why should she friggin' smile? What's he done for us women? You know, he set this policy up and got it in motion. Ugh. You know, that's not helping us. You know, that's not... Yeah. You know. Oh, so they're all getting upset now. You know. Conservative politicians line up to... Berate, oh... This is disgusting. So news.com, she did not mask. Good on her. Yep. She didn't put the pretty little mask on that they all expect us to wear all the time. Good on her. And I wouldn't either, but I wouldn't have even shaken his I wouldn't have shook his hand. Because when I blank somebody now, I blank them properly. I would not have wanted to shake his hand. It was good on her for standing. So Australian of the Year Grace Tamers returned fire at her critics after an icy meeting with Scott Morrison sparked national media coverage. All right. Um, she made her comments on Instagram. I'm just reading it here because, you know, certain conservative MPs, McGrath and that, called her childish and immature. All right? You know, because she was hinted she was making a political point with her body language, posting an image from the satire website, Batuta Advocate, and stated women, women faces backlash for not pretending everything is okay. Precisely. She's copying it because she didn't pretend it was all all cool and normal. All right? You know? Yeah. And she said she was surprised they let her in even. You know? Why should anybody have to pretend? You know... He asks how you're going as if he bloody cares. He doesn't care. You know, why does she have to pander? So Liberal Senator James McGrath criticised her childish behaviour, suggesting she should hand back her award. Absolutely not. You know? It's just ridiculous. So all of the snotty little lay, liberal snotty little lay, liberal that don't that don't respect women are all going after her like crazy
you know, saying that she's surly, childish, disgusting and lacking in manners. Really? You know, and then another one turned around and said um, she was ungracious, rude and childish, refusing to smile for the cameras. Why should she? She's not a freaking puppet. You know? Somebody says she didn't have to play the role of the court jester or be fake. She wasn't being fake. Ugh. Why should we have to put on a nice smile just to suit them? So then Senator Holly Hughes joins in. Oh, well, that one is, is she's really nasty. She can be immature. And one of the comment, one of the things I saw was Pauline's chimed in now. Pauline Hanson's chimed in, but I haven't seen her comments as yet. You know. You know, um. I don't get it. Where do these people get off? Good on her for her honesty. Yep. She has no reason to smile at these people when they haven't done anything to protect people. You know what I mean? Except for design policies like the cash just debit card that destroy people. And Darren, well, Darren Hinch had the luxury of being able to have really good top health care for his issues. Meanwhile, last week I had a heart patient who couldn't get heart meds because she couldn't order them over the phone and get them delivered. You know, I had another lady who was in lockdown, isolation, couldn't get access to money to be transferred to give to family and friends to be able to bring supplies and do things. Luckily, she wasn't stuck long in isolation. Oh, not good enough bit frustrated as you can tell tonight and that's why I decided to do the live because Darren Hinch needs to get back off that misogynistic horse and think about what he's doing and what he's you know if he's going to go to um, an election and he's going to campaign in Victoria and he wants to cash this debit card then he is not doing any justice to any of those kids that he may or may not have helped in the past and with that, I say shame, because that's it. I don't even know how to, how to describe how I feel, you know? I had a bit of a serve myself on on, t on Twitter. I don't go on Twitter very often, but I had my say as well, because, yeah, 41 years later, I'm not going to let a man come in and start taking over my life and then put it in control of a bloody private company and some jumped up little squirt that doesn't know what they're doing. You know, and people that are not medically qualified and not social workers, not proper ones anyway. Not happening. So just a warning for Victoria. When that election's called on that ballot paper and it says, Darren Hinch, Justice Party, big cross, no, no, don't want him, had enough, we want people that are going to look after us, ALP will scrap this card, Labor have made it very clear, plain and clear, they'll scrap the card and all of their um, senators and MPs are approachable and are helping cardholders where they can, you know, we know the Greens will scrap it and we know that, um, Australian progressives have got it on their policy agenda as well to scrap the card should they get any Senate seats. You know. It's sad, isn't it? Leanne says here, Morrison wanted another photo up and Grace gave him exactly what he deserves. And people abusing her are really effed up, but the comments from other women are just as really sad. Yep, it is, isn't it? Good on her. Like I said, I would, probably would not have sh shook his hand. She only probably went there because she had to. You know what I mean? Oh, you know.
to have to go in front with a man who has not done anything to help women in the last 12 months, made snide remarks when women stood up for themselves at the Millions March, whatever it was, you know what I mean? Put women on and children and carers and cashless debit cards, killed 16,000 aged care people waiting, <laughs> you know, defunded and took away so much money from domestic violence. Good honour, yep. Grace is a legend. Absolutely. And only the right wing nuts would bloody have a go at her. And that's what they're doing, is they're ramping up their, their misogynistic nasties. Oh, good honour. Like I said, I probably wouldn't have shook his hand. At all. Ron, it's too early. <laughs> Ron says I'm looking flushed. It's rather hot up here at the moment. Um, I've been out. I'll just come back from the shop. It is really hot. And there's no, I don't have any air conditioning, so... Yeah. I love that. Have you taken your match? You're looking rather flushed. It's too early to take me tablet. And it's my blood pressure tablet, people. Oh. Yeah. I'm just so annoyed. Anyway. We'll just keep going the way we're going. And hopefully, Elbow will be our PM in about four or five months. And then we can get rid of this bloody card once and for all. People can get their rights back and get their dignity back. All right, and women will be treated a hell of a lot better under an Albanese government. I can guarantee you that. Won't be bloody um, ruled and rolled over by some silver spoon snob, that's for sure. That's for sure. So, oh dear, <laughs> I'm reading comments as I go here. Yeah, it drives you nuts, doesn't it? Good Christian families. Oh. Yeah, Albo grew up with a single mum, you know, will treat us better than scum. Oh, that's right. Absolutely. And his mum was on disability support. Or it was back then it was invalid pension and they lived in a council house so he knows what it's like and one of the things he said at his conference today at the news press conference today in Canberra was how um, basically the poorest and the people the least are the ones that help the most We need to get rid of the far right as well. Hinch has been gifted with two livers, liver disease caused by drinking alcohol. Hypocritical pig. This is from Marge. Yet my granddaughter was born with liver disease and when she needs a liver, she might not even get one. It's disgusting, isn't it? Disgusting. I didn't know he'd had two. I knew he had one. And like people like me who don't even drink, you know, you know, yeah. Infuriating, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely infuriating. So. Wow. Yeah. Darren's just like Pauline, an absolute hypocrite. An absolute hypocrite. So what can I say? I'm just looking at comment. Funny how many misogynists we do have in this country who will bag a woman out just because she didn't put on the happy mask to make his ego feel good. <sighs> pathetic, isn't it? Absolutely pathetic. You know, she didn't fake her feelings so elbow was impressive today it, i did i actually watched it or watched three quarters of it 
I don't normally watch TV at all, but I found it. So, anyway. Um, hang on a sec. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, people. Well, I'll get off. Um, yeah. I'm just... Of course, I'm going to stick up for a... Rosie, I'll, you know, why should people have to um, put on a mask to appease someone else's ego? It's not fair. Anyway, so I put up a post earlier. If you guys can chip in for anything, that'll be a big help. The bills are coming for the month and... I've got to scrabble up some funds. Um, and, um, yeah, the website needs more bandwidth. <laughs> We're getting more traffic than we expected. And, uh, yeah, so that's the fees for that have gone up. And if you want to get a shirt, I've got plenty of shirts left um, and stickers and badges, but I've only got three coffee cups left. So at the moment I can order more. But, yeah, if you want a shirt, badge, um, sticker let me know and sorry about my internet it just froze which means my sink's probably gone out so if you can chip in scroll down the page you'll see the post I made earlier and um, Thursday depending on the weather I'll be out in Maryborough Heritage Markets I'll be catching up with Jeff Williams who is the Labour candidate for Wide Bay again and I'll be talking to people out on the street about the cashless debit card Okay, and, um, yeah, thanks, uh, no cashless debit card, Minjin, you're going to go down an Invasion Bay event tomorrow with your shirt on, okay, just don't get wrapped up with the wrong crowd, <laughs> yeah, we couldn't do an event this year down there, um, we just didn't have the volume, uh, the, I didn't have the money and I didn't have the volunteers to do it, so we haven't got an event down in Brisbane this year, uh, Julie, yep, I can do that for you. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, three became two. <laughs> no worries. All right, guys, well, have a good night. I'm going to go and watch some TV, and um, I'll talk to you later. See ya.